Okay then. Next up we have this vintage tradition alarm clock. This was also from the thrift store. And this is probably a mid 80s, late 70s to mid 80s uh, version of this. Just your standard format for an alarm only clock. There's no radio in it. It has a few buttons on the front. We have down here, once we focus in, hopefully focus in. Let's see if we can. Maybe. There we go. We've got dim and bright for the display. It's not very much difference, but. And then we have focus again here. This camera gets really freaked out by this kind of thing, doesn't it? There we go. Then we have uh, time set, alarm set, and these are very, these are just like rocker switches. They're spring loaded. You just kind of uh, see how that works. Very sensitive. You have fast and slow for the time set. You have alarm off, low, and high. And then back here, we'll take a look at our data plate. Made in Hong Kong. And it just gives you some instructions here. It's quite a, a lot of instructions. So it's 12 alarm, 12 a.m. is blinking. Depress the. Well, you can read that if you want to. But it's usually quite a quite a explicit instructions. And down here, serial number B059. That may be. Now it doesn't have a date sold on. I wish it did. That might be 79. Who knows? Uh, importer is Sears Roebuck and Company, Chicago, Illinois. Electronic clock 106T. And what's interested me in these, I don't normally buy as many of these uh, vacuum fluorescent clocks anymore. Because there's a lot of them bouncing around and I just, I have plenty as it is. But what, what was interesting about this, this has these touch sensitive buttons for like the repeat alarm, the snooze alarm. And then it's got one over. Here it says alarm off. So we're going to go ahead and set the alarm. And I'll show you that these actually do work. So let's see. Alarm set. I'm going to have to set you down for a sec. These buttons are kind of just a little bit flaky. This one is, so I'm trying to set it with a slow button and it's not wanting to copyright too much. Let's see if we can go back around here. Nope. It's quite fascinating, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, we'll try it one more time here. That's working. Huh. Well, we'll go all the way around again. How about that? Dum da dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Zoom 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 zoom. Now watch it not work again when I get back around. There we go. Now that's on loud, if you can believe it. So we're just going to lightly touch the side of this. That's all it takes to turn it off. So, yeah. So this is quite a little interesting piece, I guess. I may put it into the, put it into the uh, rotation of my alarm clocks. So, I hope you enjoyed this little piece of 
I would call it Americana, but imported from Hong Kong. I think Americana. It's a uh, it from foreign country. <laughs> so, okay. See you around, guys.